Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. This week I'm going to be showing you a map of Euthanasia, which was a indie horror game released back in 2010. Um, yeah, so this one was, um, a little difficult. Um, really with the door layouts and other smaller details, just because the game has a really dark and oppressing atmosphere um so there's a lot of dark corners and stuff like that so yeah um eventually i will tackle that but for right now it's just the uh, walls and stairs so yeah let's get into this uh so here we have interval one delirium um, so you start out in this room, there are some keys that you're going to need for later on, um, you go out into the main area, uh, if you go this way, all the way into this room, uh, you pick up your first weapons, there's a cleaver, a pistol, and a rifle, um, then you have to go here to flip a switch, I think? Or was it this room? But either way, it unlocks the door that leads down this hallway. And that's actually it. Now, this is uh, still delirium. Um, you're in a different section. So you work your way down here. Once you get into this room, you see the ghost girl. And go all the way here. Yeah, there's uh, not much story to the game. It's really just you going through the uh, hospital or sanitarium and just uh, killing monsters. So that's pretty much it. So if I don't say anything, well, that's because there's really not much uh, mentioning. Um, so here we go, Interval 2, Revelation. You go down the hallway where a monster passes you. He goes into this little nook here. Now, once you go down the stairs, you're in this hallway. And when you reach the end, um, you get teleported. Um, now, I think you just get teleported back to like the beginning of the hallway. Because it's very similar to the one you were just in. So, yeah. Because there's a uh, gate with a door. And when you get into this hallway, you have the uh, big monster guy. So, you have to kill him. Uh, you do have to get a key so you can unlock the door that leads to this hallway. And that's actually the end of that. Uh, still in Revelation. You start out in this little room. And you have to pass through several of these larger rooms. Again, killing monsters as well. Eventually, you do have to flip a switch that unlocks the door into this room. And it leads out into another kind of hallway. And that's it for that. So we're already, uh, we're already halfway through the game. Now we have Interval 3, which is Undertow. You start in this hallway where uh, it's kind of broken up and stuff. There's like different sections floating. So it's pretty cool. I think you have to flip a switch that... Unlocks the door that leads into this room, just a regular hospital room. And you go down this hallway into a couple more rooms. And yeah. Uh, more of Undertow. You start out in a kind of garage. There's like these garage doors on both sides. Eventually, you find a regular door that leads into this room. And then into these hallways, you flip a switch in this room. That unlocks a door leading down this hallway. And you go down a few more hallways. Uh, here's the uh, third and final section of Undertow. You start out in this hallway. You go through a few rooms, down some stairs, into a kind of main hall area. You go through a few rooms, 
up some stairs that passes over the area that you were just in and you work around you, you work your way around to the other side and now we're in the final interval uh, four which is euthanasia the name of the game you start on this room there's a kind of side area you can go into not much happens in there which it's kind of rare for this game because really the only rooms that are in the game are the ones that you have to go through to progress in the game. So, kind of interesting there. You go down the hallway, but you do have to go through these rooms on the left because it is blocked by some furniture. And that, uh, after that, you go down this pretty long hallway. Or on the, at the end, on the very left, is a hole... That goes down a hallway with a lay at the end. And that's actually the end of Euthanasia. So there you go. Uh, as you can see, I did this map very similar to the way I did Nightmare House 2. Uh, eventually, I'm going to try to connect them. Because um, how the game works is once you get to the end of, you know, let's say, Interval 1. A black screen, it just fades to black. And there's a loading screen, and you're in a different section. So, let's start here. Uh, I think that these two are connected with just this hallway, so... You know, but for the other sections, it's a little bit harder. So... Yeah. But eventually, I will do an updated version of this. Um, here it is for now, just to give you an idea. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe uh, for more stuff like this. Alright guys, so I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.